Hello and welcome back to the shop. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. And in this video, which by the way is a special request from a viewer, I'm going to cover the Ideal 30-433 coax strip and crimp tool for installing crimp on F connectors onto coaxial cable like RG59 and RG6. So let's move over to the shop and I'll show you how to use the tool. Now as you get a close-up view of the tool, you'll find it has an all-metal body construction to it with some nice cushion grips on the back end to help us aid in squeezing the tool down. The front of the tool is the crimping portion of the tool, and you'll find a, a die nest here for RG6 connectors and RG59 connectors. Now both of these are kind of a hex-looking shape to them. The one in the very front is a round one, and we're going to use that to help us hold the cable as we push the connector onto the wire, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Now the middle of the tool is the cutting and stripping portion of the tool and there's a cutting blade for cutting cable. There's a very small hole here that says inner that will strip wire down to the center conductors for us. And these two larger openings will strip either RG59 or RG6 outer jacketing off the conductor as well. Now in order to put an F connector on you need to create what's called a two-step strip on the cabling. This is where we're exposing a basically about a quarter inch of center conductor and a quarter inch of the uh, braiding as well. So you have to basically do that with all F connectors. So I'll show you how to do that next. Well, we can actually cut cable by using this cutting edge right here in the middle of the tool here. And if I insert a cable in there and stick it through there, it actually cut the wire off for me if I needed to. A lot of times we'll kind of football that cable and cutting process, and I'm going to round it back out a little bit, which will help aid me in this next little portion of the of the stripping. Now we're going to strip down to the center conductor, use that it that hole says inner here. And what I need to do is center this wire on that small little opening there, and then I'm going to make sure I got a basically about a quarter inch of outer jacket sticking out the one end of the tool here, and then I'm going to squeeze right on down to the all the way down, and then I'm going to take the tool and open it up slightly. And I'm going to rotate that cable about a quarter of a turn here and line it back up on a small hole and pinch again. And that will get all that cable and I kind of rotate it and pull that off. And it's made my little quarter inch strip down to my center conductor for me. Now the next strip is that quarter inch of outer jacketing. And since we have RG6 cable in our hands, we'll use the hole over here that says RG6. Again, I'm kind of eyeballing what a quarter inch of outer jacketing looks like here too. And I'm going to pinch the tool down and then I'm going to rotate the tool back and forth and then use it to help me push, pull it off the everything off there, and it's taken off down the jacketing of the cable. And I've made my little two-step strip I need in order to make the uh, put on the F connector. Now the next step is to fold back this braid, and you got to get all the little hairs on the braiding. Don't leave any of them, and uh, none of the uh, braiding, none of the foil can be touching our center conductor because that results in a short, which we don't want to make happen, which actually means no TV picture. And then we're going to put the F connector actually on. Now this crimp on F connector, when you look at it closely, there are three little rings here in the back, and there's a lar very large ring here, which is right behind where the nut is. And this large ring, you do not want to get crimping on any of it, because that ring, if you crimp it, that nut will no longer spin. So avoid crimping that large ring right behind the nut there. And we're going to use the tool to help us push this on the, the cable. So I'm going to take the, the, ca the cable and stick it in that front die desk so I can kind of pinch it and hold on to it. And then I'm going to use it to help me push on the connector. Now the question always is how far do you push it on? Well we need to push it on until the white dielectric is even or flush, that little opening you see in the very front of the cable, uh, or the connector, okay? And that's how we know it's been pushed all the way in. And now we're going to crimp it in between these little rings. Now you see three rings, and I'm going to crimp in between the, f the first and the second ring, and the third, uh, the, the second and the third ring, okay? And we're going to use the die nest on the front here. It says RG6. And get the tool centered on it. And squeeze all the way down until that the tool pinches completely together here. And then I'm move it up to the next set of rings. And again, pinch it down again until the tool pinches in the front again. And there you have it. There is a properly crimped on F connector onto a piece of RG6 coaxial cable. Using the 30-433 the, uh, crimping tool. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you coming to another video. I'll talk to you next time.